Imagine a situation where you could actually just target um, the cells or the neurons that are just involved in pain sensation. That's a pretty challenging task and people have been trying to solve it for, for quite some time. There are uh, so many populations of neurons, but all of them are not involved in pain sensation. So the question is, can you really target just that subpopulation of neurons? When it, the, the anatomists, when they work in the lab, to trace only a subset of population of neurons, it was something that was very routine. So with whatever little background I have in chemistry and biochemistry, we were able to use that and um, basically come up with a, with a method to sort of piggyback on that, um, on that tracer, which goes to only a subset of neurons. The Catalyst program was interested in that, but then again, uh, after talking with the consultants, it became obvious that you have many flavors of pain, and that was really the hard part deciding. And also, if we could broaden the appeal uh, to, to sell this as a platform, not just for pain, but for other areas. And um, um, so then I went, um, uh, and thought a little bit more about that and uh, came up with the idea of using it in um, another disease model, which is uh, inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD for short. And um, so it sort of uh, metamorphosed from starting off as something in the pain area to something in sort of a non-pain area and more like a local targeted delivery. And um, uh, going back and forth with the people at the Catalyst program, we were able, we are now at a point where we are in a collaboration with the strategic uh, industry partner who's going to help us hopefully take this to the next level.